Yo, what is going on? My name is Storms, and today, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And today, we're going to be doing the location for Fortnite number 64, I believe it is called. Yes, 64. Now, this uh, Fortnite is accessible by using rocks on top of Stunt Mountain. So, obviously, there it goes. There's the location off the bat. Uh, it's gonna be on top of Stunt Mountain, but you have to use rocks to be able to access uh, access it. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm also gonna be doing this double video today because basically what I'm doing in here is because I thought it'd be better to, like I said in the video that's gonna pop up later, that it's better to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Meaning, if I put both of these videos together, it will actually like help so many people because not only am I doing a fort by location I'm actually doing the week two challenges uh, locations and uh, guides and what's the best way to complete the challenges in this video as well so that you guys can both get both of them now I know I'm one day late on the week two it's just when I was editing everything uh, I kind of didn't have enough time to edit the next video which was the obviously the week two but I need to stop yip yapping or whatever you call it let's get into this all right just so you guys remember once again this will be if you guys don't know where Stunt Mountain is it's north uh, west of tilted uh, Neil tilted or what it is used to be known as tilted towers now you're gonna find it right here on top of Stunt Mountain but remember you have to be wearing rocks and if you guys need a better like look at it, it's gonna be around. Uh, it's gonna be south. I guess you can say southwest of the middle of Pleasant Park where the basketball court is. But it's not basketball, it's soccer. But I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get down. As you guys can see, when you land here, be careful because there's, there's a chest in the mil middle. It is gonna be located right there, right next to this 110 meter sign. Okay, yep, I died, but that doesn't matter. It's gonna be located in. Uh, when you look at the mountain from the map, it is gonna be located in the. Uh, the very top in the northwest corner of it, like exactly northwest corner or whatever. It's going to be at the uh, 111 meter sign, meaning that the mountain is 111 meters up in the air when it comes to elevation. And that was the fort bite. Now let's get on to the week two challenges. Okay, so we're going to be doing the week two challenges. Now I've already completed some of these. And I was supposed to add another clip of me already doing these challenges, but somehow, you know, big old guy didn't want to get recorded, so I don't have it anymore, so it's going to be a little bit, I'm going to have to go through all of this again, which is quite annoying, but it'll be a lot better for you guys, because I know where everything is, I don't have to like search it up and stuff, but first challenge we got here is launch off of air vents in different matches now there's a bunch of these around the map like there's one at Neo. there's a bunch at neo tilted there's a bunch at ne uh, mega mall at the mall not that the houses do not go to the houses mega mall is the only place in mega mall that has that like the big mall i mean in mega mall is, is the only place that has air vents and then you got those ships in the skies and don't worry guys i'm gonna be showing you guys who just joined my party someone just joined my party Ryan joined my party when I'm doing a video, but it doesn't matter. But, okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys the locations of those when it comes to when I get in game and show you guys the locations of everything else because it's knock out two birds with one stone, like I said. But now the second um, challenges we have is stage one of five, which is land at Snobby Shores. And I don't know these because I never, I didn't look through all of them. I didn't even uh, finish any of these challenges. So uh, these guys, this, these challenges is going to be really easy. Well, this challenge, not these. But this challenge is going to be really, really easy because all you have to do is just land. Make sure you land. Make sure you don't go anywhere outside like it because if you do that, then you're screwed. You have to get like glider redeploy or, <laughs> or a um, launch pad or a rift to go. But... That was the second challenge. Now on to the third challenge. Now the third challenge is eliminate opponent, uh, opponents in sunny steps or shifty shafts. Now I recommend putting party assist on this so that you guys can actually, what do you call, 
uh, get a teammate in there and your teammate if you're not that good your teammate can help you uh, get these kills and the sunny steps or shifty shafts or maybe you guys can split up one goes shifty shafts one goes sunny steps but do not recommend that at all because you if you're not good you're gonna die really fast and if your friends not good either he's gonna die fast or she or whoever you're playing with now that was the third challenge now into the fourth now this is deal damage with pistols to opponents now the best way I say of doing this is either with a flint knock dual pistols or yeah just a flint knock or dual pistols because flint knock if you know how to use it you can get really good aim with it like I was go I was popping off in my video with the dual pistols and you guys saw me complete that and in that video well maybe not complete it because I may have cut it out but I did complete it and I was using a flint knock and it made it extremely easy to do it because the flint knock the flint knocks uh, crosshair is not big but it's not small at the same time so you can you can easily hit those shots if you know how to use them now onto the fourth one it is this is an oversized phone a big piano and a giant dancing uh fish trophy now the oversized phone is gonna it's there's two oversized phones so i'm gonna have to show you guys the locations for both of those but i have a really good way of uh finishing uh, visiting two of these which is visit the oversized phone and the giant dancing fish trophy mainly because there's a slipstream at one of the phones that will al allow you to be able to finish both of them really really fast because one of the slipstreams goes straight toward like straight to the giant dancing fish trophy and the, f the oversized phone has it right next to it so that that makes it pretty easy now the next challenge we got is search a chest in different named locations in a single match now best way to do this i i say is that i recommend just going like maybe go fatal use the use the substream go mega mall loot the house like for uh farthest from all the other houses and like the action and then use the substream again and go straight towards dusty and there's also another way I, uh, that's really good for you guys. I'm going to show you guys in the video because it's, it's a one that regards going to Pleasant because there's a expedition outpost right next to it that spawns ballers. And when you do that, when you get you can get a baller, you can go down to Pleasant Park, loot a chest, and then what you can do after that is go straight towards Haunted Hills, get the uh, loot a chest in Haunted Hills. And then go to Junk Junction and loot a chest there, and bam, done. And the last and final uh, challenge is eliminate an opponent from at least. First of all, you start off at 50 meters away, but I already did that, so I have 75 meters away. And right now, the all the stages are gonna pop up on your screen. And stage one is eliminate an opponent from uh, 50 meters away. Stage two is eliminate p opponent from at least 75 meters away. And then eliminate, a, and the third stage is eliminate an opponent from at least 100 meters away. Now, 75 meters and 100 meters might be a little tough for you guys. I don't really know how to, like, can't aren't really that good. And I say the best way of doing this is going to uh, Team Rumble because that's a big game mode. You die, you respawn, so it doesn't really matter. You can easily you can easily get a gun that's ranged. And see if you can hit an opponent, kill an opponent from at least 50, 75, 100 meters away. So, thanks to Ryan, I also have another really easy way you guys can actually complete the eliminate an opponent from whatever meter away you are at. So, it is basically just to knock an enemy, get them down really low, like to the point where they don't die like off the bat. And they're like they're separated from everyone and what Ryan said was just uh, just knock a guy use a slipstream and that will count because the further away you get from an enemy that's knocked the it actually counts in meters how far away you killed them so thanks to Ryan for that and thank and thank him for being able to help you guys finish that challenge a lot easier with that suggestion go subscribe now, to my YouTube yeah go subscribe to his YouTube static fusion it's his username nope 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 sorry it is midnight and his YouTube name is gonna pop up on the screen right now exactly like that guys he has 402 subs help him get up to that thousand sub grind cuz you know he he kinda needs some money <clears throat> anyway so aside from that those were all the challenges now let's get into the uh, the locations for the oversized phone a big piano 
and a giant fish, um, giant, giant dancing fish trophy. Sorry, and then all the locations for the air vents in the diff in the Fortnite map. So let's get into this. So map. the oversized phone. Oh, by the way, Dylan, if you haven't finished these challenges, I recommend doing it. The oversized phone. There's two of them. There's gonna be oh, one right here, which is the one I'm talking about, and then there's gonna be another one up here like way up here in the one of these like in this area around in under the trees now the reason why i'm not going to be showing you guys where that is is mainly because there's no point you guys can just follow my route and kill two birds with one stone meaning that you can get the oversized telephone done and dusted jump into the slipstream you can see right here and go all the way over to the dancing fish trophy now make sure you get this chest first yeah, because you here. don't know someone could uh come over here and you know do that so yeah ryan is that what you marked I'm uh, well you guys can't see but this counts as the the oversized phone and this is the location of the oversized phone now I'm gonna be showing you guys the location of the dancing fish trophy which the reason I'm why here. I said the slipstream is really good is because the dancing fish trophy if you guys can see you guys uh, can see this this is the slipstream it goes straight onto where whoever's marker that is uh, That's Ryan's, and I'm yeah, here straight right on now. top of Ryan's marker, and as you can see, Dylan's there. That is where the da giant dancing fish trophy is, and you can see that this is the slipstream that goes from the telephone. So you can just go up here, and you can get it right there. And I'll see you guys when I get over there. Okay, so I am approaching the da uh, giant dancing fish trophy, and it is right here, as you guys can see. It is going to be right here, and all you have to do is just go next to it, and bam, you're done with it. Now, oh cool, God, a cool Easter egg is that you can actually, if you you have to be right here. Uh, it has to be on this close to it and if you were to dance it actually dances See <laughs> Now The hey. giant size piano I can't do in this match mainly because it is all the way up in Lonely Lodge right here As you guys can see that is the piano right there So I'm actually gonna be showing you guys what that looks like and you're gonna be finding it I guess you can say northeast of the hero mansion the destroyed hero mansion that is and really a slipstream can't really take you there you need to either go by vehicle or you need to land there which i'm going to be landing there because you guys i need to play this match out with my friends so let oh uh, let's get on to the next not the next challenge but the next location which is the piano Wait. okay guys so i actually decided to use the slipstream oh, and run over here now what? you can you can there's two ways you can do this three ways actually Die and come into this uh, come into another match and do that and Or use the slipstream come over here uh, Well, you're gonna have to walk a bit like I did or you're gonna actually have to uh, what do you call? Use a vehicle and this should complete the challenge for you guys. This should complete the uh, challenge for week two that the visit challenge and now let's get on to the locations for every single air event when I get into the safe zone. Okay guys, so on to the locations for uh, all the air events. Now there's going to be air events in the mall, in Mega Mall. It's going to be all around like the roof around there. There's going to be one, there's going to be a few at this ships. I'm going to be showing you guys all the ship locations because these ships actually are going to be able to be your best bet because they, uh, you can bounce off one of them. You won't go off, but the thing is that you can just jump off and kill yourself and finish the challenge faster. The next, the next ship, ah, sorry guys. I had something like it right in my throat. The next ship is going to be... Oh, bro, there's no right oh, in here next to Lazy no. Lagoon. It's gonna be right here, and then you have one over here next to Pleasant. It's gonna be right here, and then you have one in Paradise Palms way down here. By the way, guys, uh, these are, might all be like switched up. Like, I'm not going in order from what's closest and furthest because that's a little too tough. Uh, because I can't really memorize every single one. And then you got one right over where the rune used to be in season five and six, right next to Salty and I guess you can say between Salty and Dusty and uh, one, oh, I wonder who's dead. Uh, of course it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> but those were the locations. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to finish your uh, search chest in three different locations. Okay guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I mean by the expedition oh, outpost. Now this is called an expedition outpost, you wish. So, and as you guys can see, this spawns ballers, like obviously. And my way of finishing this challenge really easily is just to grab the baller from up there, 
skim down to here really fast. Jump down to here. It's not skim. <laughs> I don't know where I got skim from. Do a chest here or wherever. And then go. And I need to be careful because that guy can actually break the baller really fast. Because of this new update. And then you just want to go from. Oh my god, yeah. Go I from is it baller? Pleasant is Park. It Haunted Hills and search a chest here. Whoa, Ryan. You're like 1 HP. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to go to Haunted Hills, loot a chest here, a and then go scenario. to Junk Junction, and whoa, I have not been here, bro. The clock tower is here. Yeah, I know, they put all the, all the, uh, uh, there's a baller here. Oh, here yeah, I see, I see why. Okay, so, then the you want to just go to Junk Junction, search a chest here, and bam. Wow, I'm Got stupid. the challenge done. Now, let's get into the lobby. Because, I'm getting shot! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> can I leave the game? Can I leave the game? No, I forgot you stay in there for 60 seconds. Okay guys, so that was the 4 by number 64 location and the week to challenge uh, guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!